So I picked out a fish, and right away we had this connection. <laughs> so I wanted to give him everything I never had. So I bought him a castle, a treasure chest, pretty colored gravel. I wish someone as nice as you owned me. I don't know how good an owner I am, Gary. My fish is dead. And I just feel so... I'm sorry. Does the death of Nathaniel J. Scalyback bore you, Claire? I apologize, Zach. Please go on. Well, I haven't had a lot of loss in my life, and even though I got a new fish this morning, I still... You're yawning again. No. I'm sorry, it's got nothing to do with you. So it's the rest of us. Of course not. I'm just tired. Tired of us? No. I haven't been sleeping well lately. Because you're thinking of us. No, my upstairs neighbor is very noisy, so I haven't been sleeping lately. Now, let's move on. I feel for you. I have an inconsiderate neighbor who recently started practicing the steel drums. Bob, if I don't practice, it's only going to be worse for all of us. Any, anyway, I, I apologize if I seem a little unfocused. Now, Bob, you were saying something about George Clooney. No, I wasn't. God, I am really tired. <laughs> But unfortunately, our session is over, so I will see you guys all next week. Oh, and Zach, I, I really am very sorry about your cat. Guys, this is not good. Claire was so tired, I felt pressured to make up stuff so I could hold her interest. I knew you didn't invent wicker. <laughs> Listen, we need a therapist who's at the top of her game, because, let's face it, we're, like, nuts. <laughs> I've got an idea, and don't say no before you hear me out. To keep her awake next week, what if we wire her chair to a high voltage... No. <laughs> Let me finish. Current. Oh, current. No. Look, why don't we just find Claire's neighbor and, you know, politely ask them to keep it done. Or we could find them and wire their chairs to a high no. voltage... No. Bob, are you that sure that my plan is so stupid that you're not even going to ask? Yes. <laughs> Here's the apartment right above Claire's. <laughs> Seems pretty quiet. Wish my neighbor was this quiet. And I wish my neighbor would take up the steel drum so that I'd have somebody to jam with. <laughs> I hear someone throwing clothes on the floor. That shouldn't bother Claire downstairs. Unless they're gladiators. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. It's hard to make out, but it sounds like... It sounds like someone's slapping a raw chicken. <laughs> Tossing around clothes, roughing up poultry. Who are these people? Yes. yes. There you go. Yes. Oh, baby. <laughs> now the pieces are starting to fit together. We have to put a stop to this, or get in on it. Either way, I'm not standing out in the hall. Oh, we should have let them finish. Yeah, but they just started. You know how it is. They could be at it five or six hours. <laughs> Okay, who here feels bad about themselves? What? Hi. Hello. How you doing? Good. Listen, we were wondering, could you uh, be a little quieter? Because uh, you're bothering some of your neighbors. Do you live in this building? No. You're that loud. Did the skinny girl from downstairs put you up to this? Maybe she wouldn't be so skinny if you weren't so noisy. What? What? That's not what I said. First, she leaves those annoying notes. And now she sends you guys? Oh, I've had it with her. Larry, do your stretching and breathe, and I'll be right back. I should use my plan. All right, if only we'd electrocuted this woman, we'd be home free right now. Yeah, well, what's going on? This is completely out of line. I don't appreciate being disturbed in the middle of the night. I didn't... Oh, God, what did they do? That woman's a liar. <laughs> and luckily, you just happen to be here at 2 a.m. to defend yourselves. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, get out here. We were just trying to get your neighbor to pipe down so you could get a good night's sleep. Yeah, and it worked. 
You're asleep right now. This is all a dream. It's all a dream. What am I, an idiot? <laughs> Nina, I am so sorry. I did not send them up to your apartment. Well, you of all people should be the last one to complain about noise. Well, what's that supposed to mean? After what you sounded like last summer when you were seeing that guy? Well, uh, it's late. I'm sorry that this happened. You should have heard yourself. It was like you bought the big box of sex at the bulk store. <laughs> and you wanted to use it all up before it went bad. I... I was playing a record. You were breaking a record? <laughs> now, what, what was it? Oh, oh, tell me, tell me! Who's the doctor? Who's the doctor? <laughs> I'm the doctor! I'm the doctor! I'm the doctor! I'm the doctor. <laughs> I don't... I never... Okay. Here's the thing. <laughs> and that was nothing. You should have heard the ones that got over their inhibitions. Shut up! Shut up! I can't believe what happened at, at, at Claire's last night. It was like walking in on my parents having sex. Your mother works it like that? Only when she's with your mother. Okay, I, I just made it worse. I'll never look at Claire the same way. Or Bob's mother. <laughs> Guys, it's just sex. We've all had it. It's no big deal. Although, what's with that I am the doctor thing? That is outstanding. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Okay. Um, I know it's easy to be distracted by certain events, but let's remember why we're here and try to stay focused on our work. Now, who would like to go first? <laughs> Stansfield is not funny. <laughs> No, 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 I, I was just remembering a cartoon I saw when I was eight. <laughs> Is that the one where the coyote slams into the picture of a tunnel? Because that really happened to me once. <laughs> Claire, I think I speak for all of us when I say I'm, I'm very sorry we came over to your house last night. Thank you, Zach. I appreciate that. Because now it is so awkward. <laughs> okay, I, I have not been very good at enforcing boundaries, but that's going to change. From now on, you are no longer to be involved in my private life. Well, why do you get to make all the rules? Because I'm the doctor. <laughs> Was that a statement or an orgasm? <laughs> Again. What? what? Then you can't come to our buildings. Fine. Damn, she called my bluff. What if it's an emergency and we have to talk to you? I'm sorry, but if you want to stay in therapy, this is the way it's going to have to be. Well, I can't work like that. Neither can I. Well, you're going to have to. Then we quit. Fine. Why do I keep saying these things? <laughs> no, Bob, you're right. If you're not going to be there for us when we're cracking up, we're not going to be there for you when we're cracking up. Come on, guys. This sure puts a lot of pressure on me to sparkle. <laughs>